funny, I went over to um, Toomses. We had a field weekend over at Toomses, and the fish started to midge, so I whacked this out and put it on. And uh, Tony Dill was with me, he, he whacked one on as well. The, the midge hats didn't last for long, but we got oh, five or six fish. Uh, no one else got a fish. We managed to pick up six fish in this method. And you can fish a couple of other flies the same way, a, a fly called the minky. And the tail doesn't have to be long. I don't put bling in it at all. Just, a, And you certainly don't have to have a long tail. I bring that right along together. Just a bit of red holographic tinsel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Are we going to go for three in a row? He did. <laughs> Won't come out this time, mate. <laughs> Make sure of him. I always like to not push stuff too hard against my head of the bead because then I can wrap the... the uh, That's something to lay the hackle up against. Uh, and the wire down into it. Mm. Anything that I want to move a bit of water and that, I use the better quality hackles, even for my uh, palmed hackles. Trouble is with this one, it's a bit good. Get rid of one side of the hackle. Your, your hackle count is too high. So you get rid of one side of it, and that'll stop the fly from spinning. I've heard of that oh, happening. Yeah, that's, that's the trouble right. I've had with mine. Yeah. Get rid of one side yeah, of it, and you'll up. get rid of a lot of that problem. Do you have that shiny side towards you or away from you? Uh, away from me. There it is there. too complicated about that either is there it's nice the way you snug that wire down yeah. behind there yeah yeah and that's what I say I don't like to crowd the head behind yeah. the bead you pull it right in there and then you can pull it in there and it's it's never going to come out never going to come out If I was tying a bigger woolly bugger, like this one here, I'm using the softer hen hackle type of thing, mm. right? Oh, yeah. Not, but on this one I use the stiffer hackle. Okay. So, I'm not going not not to twist away there for a quarter of an hour, fellas. But that's the little fella. Now, why does something like that work on the midge? Little blokes coming to the surface, swimming up to the know. surface. They're taking blood wounds, maybe the colour, but yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I. But I guess it's just. Well, and there'd be the movement, the size, it works the colour. In, it works in New Zealand, yeah, just, well, just it's as a bigger wet. than a midge, though. It's a lot bigger than a oh, midge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.